Hello everyone, this is Carolyn here with Road and Country. I uh, wanted to just do a just short video on um, how I'm doing the guinea pigs this winter. It has gotten, uh, I think, colder than past uh, couple winters that we've had anyway. Um, so as you can see, first off, I've got four partitions. Uh, I raise Peruvians, Texels, and Silkies. Uh, the skinnies are in the house. And then, um, so uh, the different breeds I try to partition off. And uh, what I did this year, instead of just putting a heat lamp on each side, uh, I decided to build boxes. And it actually worked out pretty well until like the first day. I noticed that it was starting to have a lot of condensation. I did uh, punch holes on the top, but that just simply wasn't enough. So what I ended up doing is just simply getting some two befores and separating the lid. So the lid is still on top, uh, but I've got two by fours and that seems to be working really well as far as ventilation and uh, keeping the condens condensation out of there uh, and yet still maintaining a good temperature in there for them when it gets really cold. And this also has solved my problem with freezing water because it stays warm enough in there that I can put their water right in there um, and it does not freeze. As you can see, I just had some newborns here that are soaking in the heat. Um, so what all I did is basically just took a large uh, plastic tote and I had went ahead and took a hole saw and sawed a hole on one end. And then I did the same thing on... The lid as you can see there's a hole on the lid I'm using a hundred and fifty watt uh, I'm sorry 125 watt bulb heat lamp uh, and I was worried at first that it might uh, burn the plastic or melt it so what I did is I actually put a piece of wood that I screwed into the plastic lid and then set that right on top uh, so far I've not had any issues uh, even it being this close to the plastic, uh, I've not had any issues with it melting. Um, I've not had any issues with the bulbs going out on me. Uh, and also what I did is I did screw, you can see here, uh, so that this right here won't, won't go anywhere. Uh, so, so far they seem to really be enjoying it. Um, I do keep their food on the outside. Uh, and uh, just allow them to go in there when they feel they need to get some warmth. Um, the only problem I find, uh, they're, they're pretty naughty about using the bathroom in their water bowl, so that's got to get cleaned out a couple times a day. And then instead of coming out of the box, uh, they seem to like to use the bathroom in the box. So again, it's a little more tedious because I have to come out and clean these boxes. Um, and, uh, you know, just put fresh straw and bedding and all that in there. But they seem to be enjoying it. <clears throat> and uh, here's Hemingway over there, the white boy with all his girls and a bunch of babies. Seems like with the cold weather, they all decided that they were going to have their babies. Um, got some of my Texels in here. As you can see, they're all piled in there. Um, and, uh, yeah, they seem to... They seem to be liking it quite a bit, and uh, so all this, all this space for them to run around in, and yet this is where they like to go. So I hope this helps some of you with the hard winners uh, who may be struggling with ideas on what to do. Um, I know that, well, for me, I'm using colony raising and using horse stalls, which works out well. But for you who may have cages. Um, as you can see, I have cages set up to separate my babies when they get weaning age. Uh, I'm not doing that right now just because it's too cold and I don't really have the ability right now to run extra cords for heat lamps and whatnot. But the idea here that I used, uh, if you only have a couple in a cage, could easily be done just with a smaller container and then placed inside the cage. Uh, and that alone itself may be uh, good enough just to keep the breeze off of them. Um, but it wouldn't be all that difficult to 
uh, run a heat lamp, uh, you know, in the same fashion or even just without the lid, just placing it right on top of the cage, that would probably work just as well. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you think this video is helpful, please, uh, you know, uh, comment in the message there. And also don't forget to subscribe. Again, this is Rodent Country. I always appreciate feedback and let me know whether these videos are helpful. Thank you and uh, have a great day.